Dr. Solon Ray stood at the threshold of the quantum bay, her breath suspended like starlight in the chilled air. The Artemis array hummed deeper now, less like a machine, more like a voice, whispers vibrating through titanium bones and into her ribs three days ago. The particle synchronizer began to sing. Not static, not noise, patterns, recursive spirals nested in prime intervals, entangled particles blinking in rhythm across the galaxy, as if they were listening, as if they were waiting. She leaned toward the console, brushed aside a tangle of silver hair. Initiate wave calibration, she whispered. The words echoed back, delayed. Echoes shouldn't exist in vacuum, unless... The array was already slipping time. Beyond the observation veil, the corridor shimmered. Frozen rainbows refracted photons, a synthetic aurora in magnetic stillness. And far at the end of that entanglement line, outpost Hiraeth and something answering back. The mission was simple. Stabilize the grid, secure communications, prevent drift. But this, this felt like thought, like a dream, reaching back. Dr. Ray, you don't have to do this. Let the next wave crew... No, she interrupted gently. It's thinking, Edda, or dreaming. And it started when I tuned the grid. She keyed in the override. The corridor opened, and with one last look at everything she'd ever known, Solon Ray stepped forward, into the wave, into entanglement, into the possible mind of the universe itself. It's listening.